All right, guys, we got another video by suggestion. It looks at a woman who had a question about uh, polygamy and is very shocked by the answer. Did Mohammed have multiple wives? And is that a perfect example that it's okay to have multiple <coughs> wives? And okay, fine. So the question is about polygamy or polygyny, as we say, right? Multiple wives or so. It's important for us to know that before Islam was reintroduced in Arabia in the 7th century, people used to have unrestricted polygyny. People used to have multiple wives, no restriction by the way. Islam came to give restrictions. There is no religion that I can think of that in their scriptures, not later on by the church or the synagogue or their culture, or constitution, there is no religion that I can think of, I could be wrong, that restricts the number of wife or wives. Unrestricted polygamy before Islam, you know, before Islam came to Arabia, women were treated as property, no rights. They were inherited, they were discarded to such an extent it was in the dark ages before Islam came there. Some of the baby girls, they were buried alive. That was the darkness before Islam came there. But after Islam came to Arabia, in the Quran, and through Muhammad, peace be upon him, women, they were uplifted from being property to being fully human, equal to man in the eyes of God. Number one. So it says in the Quran, chapter number four, verse number three, that Mary, two, three, or four, up to four, by the way. But if you cannot do justice to them, marry only one. So under hmm. certain circumstances, in some Islamic states, it is given that option for the Muslim males. But me living in the US, I abide by the constitution. I cannot marry more than one. I have to abide by only marrying one because I have to listen to the rules of the land. So it's really important, even if a man marries more than one, they have to be treating equally to every single wife up to four. But if they cannot do equality, marry only one. Number three important point on this polygyny issue. Polygamy is not introduced by Islam. Polygamy is always there all throughout history, by the way. You know, even if you look at the Old Testament, every single, almost every single prophet was polygamous. The yeah. greatest prophet of the Old Testament was Moses. Was he, did he marry only to one? More than one. Abraham, many. You know, King Solomon, it says in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse number 1, 2, and 3, he had 700 wives. No, no, what I'm saying is that there's not a single statement in the Old Testament that says don't marry more than one. Polygamy is, has always existed. Islam came to restrict it. Even when you look at in the U.S., right? Forget about the Old Testament, the Quran, any religion. Even when you look at the U.S., According to Chicago Tribune, a poll was taken, a typical American male has seven extra, either premarital or extramarital affairs, hmm. without any restriction. If the poor lady, the girl becomes pregnant, uh, he can just move out and then she has to raise single children. What Islam said is that if you are going to marry more than one, give 100% you are responsible for the children, for the women, for the clothing, share every single necessity. Compare it. Unrestricted number of extramarital affairs, unrestricted number of wives, no responsibility compared to what Islam said. 100% responsibility. If you cannot do justice, marry only one. This is doing justice to the widows, to the orphans, especially in the time of war. When a lot of males are killed, there is a surplus of women. Who is going to marry them? You know, if every single person we need the warmth of a home, of a spouse, of children. We can give as much money, social security money and food stamps. That's, not, that's still not family, by the way. And many a times, uh, the, the children of a single parent household, they are close to 40% of this country, they have single parent household. And children of the single parent homes, they are more prone to getting sick, more prone to getting dropped out from the high schools. They are more prone to getting into guns and gangs and having lower IQ. And this uh, vicious cycle continues. What is the solution, by the way? 
the solution Islam gave. So we have to look at the wisdom of God. So again, Islam did not introduce polygamy. It only restricted it with the wisdom behind it. With 100% responsibility for the safety of the society. I think a lot of people watching, if not all, were shocked by his response because uh, it's something that is not commonly spoken of. You know, the moment you hear uh, polygamy, oh, in Islam, you can marry four wives and uh, it's just the man. Oh, but what about the women? Can't the women marry? And, you know, that's sort of like the narrative that is uh, played out. Um, but uh, the speaker is laying out that uh, there's actually more to it than that. And that, that's actually not what it says. It's, first of all, not that you have to marry. It's you can marry, but up to four. So there's there's a limit there. It's not just go get involved with any single woman that you want. And, you know, if anything happens, well, then, you know, you're free. No, it's have up to four. But if you cannot treat all of them equally, so whether it's one, two, three or four, then just marry one. And again, you're not forced to get married. It's it's a choice to get married. But if you're going to marry, then just one, because typically speaking, uh, that's really all most people can handle, just one spouse. And um, it just, it makes the most sense. It's less complicated. Just imagine having to divide your attention. I can imagine that, having to divide my attention to more than just one woman that I'm married to. Four. No, no, I wouldn't do it. So, well, if I was Muslim, then I'll just, you know, just one. I, I get the, the up to four, but nah, 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 stick it to one. <laughs> so I definitely can see the benefit of why uh, the polygamy uh, restrictions and the laws are there. But I can also see why the polygamy and the restriction laws aren't there like there's no laws that limit the amount of partners that you can have so in places like uh america it's the the, the culture is just that you know people uh they get intimately involved in multiple people and uh for the most part you know life kind of just uh continues there is a lot of single parent households for sure and because you're a single parent doesn't mean that you're bad or you're beneath somebody who is in a co-parenting relationship or dual parent relationship it doesn't mean you're any less at all so i hope nobody ever takes that from this video but it's based on statistics uh kids who come out of single parent home they may be more prone to do certain things again it doesn't mean that the kid is also worse they're just these are just statistics here and um oftentimes certain statistics don't give the whole picture because i know a lot of people who had grew up in single parent homes that they were you know they're perfectly fine great people very successful wonderful loving caring people and then some people that i know in dual parent household you're just kind of like what happened to you bro you know, so I think it's all just a matter of uh, perspective and also taking the time to understand what Islam teaches and why it is taught. And if you still don't agree with it, okay. But I think a lot of people, instead of making the assumptions like, oh, look what Islam says, actually speak to somebody or, you know, go investigate for yourself and just go and read and and see because what he presented in this video is a lot different than the perspective that is commonly shared in Western media. So again, in a nutshell, I see why the uh, polygamy restrictions are there. I can also see why they aren't there. But there is guidance and wisdom in having the polygamy laws according to Islam, and he did share some of the, the benefits of it. But also, it's important to know that not every society abides by that. I also don't want to leave people with the impression that, you know, it's okay to sort of condemn societies like America, where there are no limits, there's no laws set to limit the amount of uh, partners that somebody can have yes in m many cases it's like you can only marry one but there are cases where people marry multiple there you know there's um cases with uh men having eight ten wives in in america so i'm not here to judge any of that whatever floats your boat <laughs> go do it it is it is your life but at the same time, be mindful not to judge harshly someone else's beliefs and values and religions because they don't align with yours. Take time to go learn it. And uh, I think this is a good video to learn what Islam really says about polygamy. So that's my two cents on this, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. And if this is your first time here at FTV Speaks, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. They go up daily. 
uh, work a lot, you know, learning and uh, reacting to these videos for you guys to keep you informed, keep you entertained. So join the FTD fam and I hopefully I'll see you in future episodes. Later.